Hey guys, Luca here with my first PvP build for the Sanitai patch. I'm on my Magicka DK with two new sets, a monster set and a powerful backbar set called Rallying Cry. This thing gives over 300 weapon and spell damage and 1650 crit resistance, it's ridiculously strong. If you compare it with other common backbar sets, like the strongest one in terms of burst damage, Clever Alchemist, 675 weapon spell damage, but with a long downtime compared to Rally, and it's an ego set without any group benefits. Powerful Assault, one of my favorite group sets, it's probably a must have for any small scale action, with 307 weapon spell damage and basically no cooldown, it's slightly better than damage bonus of Rally, but keep in mind for each group member we lose 15 Weapon and spell damage and 83 crit resistance with Rally. But the nice part of those unique buffs like PA and Rally is we can easily combine them, which gives us a huge group benefit. That's what the game needs set diversity with unique bonuses. Another backbar set is Transmutation 1.4k crit resistance for 5 seconds compared to Rally. Just a joke now, but probably only useful if you combine both sets but alone not worth it anymore. If you compare all these backbar sets, the rally is by far the strongest one, especially on smaller groups like 2-4 man group size, even solo with the high amount of crit resistance, unbeatable. Well done Zos, I'm impressed, finally a useful backbar set. By the way, look at the visual effect of it. I'm not a role player, but jeez, it looks awesome. Let's talk about the new monster set, Nazarai. It drops in the new dungeon ship rates, regret, easy dungeon, easy to get. When used in ultimate ability, the closest 6 enemies within 12 meters have all major and minor debuffs applied. All major and minor debuffs, think about it for a second. We have access to the strongest debuffs in this game, which are major vulnerability, increased damage taken by 10%, only way with the Neko Colossus ultimate and Kinma before and the new set turning tight now but I will talk about this set in the next builds. Major Defy reduce target ceiling taken by 16%. Major Maim reduce damage dealt by 10%. Minor Menge reduce targets max health by 10%. Minor Fracture, Minor Brittle, Minor Vulnerability etc etc. All those debuffs will get applied with a 5 meter radius, even AoE, just an example, with 500 ult points, the debuff duration would be at 25 seconds. So only 5 seconds cooldown. Really powerful. As front bar set, I use Burning Spare Wave, nothing to say about it, no old school set, you should know about it. I still prefer to use a Burning Spare Wave Inferno stuff to have the possibility to get Magicka back with heavy attacks. Really useful and necessary for my playstyle. But if you prefer more damage, go for dual wield with two maces for extra pen or two swords for extra spell damage. With one trainee for extra HP and one mana cut for extra damage. Let's take a closer look on the build. I used five light armor pieces and two heavy pieces. Then like I said before, rallying cry on the back bar with sword and board, nirm and sturdy. With this juicy poisons, the drain magicka poisons, drains magicka from your target, increase the cost of the magicka visit by 10% and restores 238 magicka per second for 6 seconds, only 4 seconds cooldown. Pretty nice one, especially uh, on DK if you're a vamp like me, I'm vamp stage 3. As you can see, regular ability costs 8% increase, so our sustain is kinda bad. That's where I use those drain poisons. Trades 2 impen and 5 sturdy. We don't really need even those 2 impen pieces. 7 sturdy would be probably even better. Thanks to Ready Cry, we have enough crit resistance. Then on the jewelry, something changed here. I'm with weapon damage 2 times and 1 cost reduction. Why weapon damage? It's simple. On DK we have access to Minor Brutality thanks to Mountain's Blessing and now that every skill skates on your highest offensive stat, in this case weapon damage, 
it makes only sense to go with weapon damage. If you have access to minor source in your group with a Templar, just stay on spell damage, then it's the same. Quick look on the skills, still in Gulfing Flames for extra flame damage, but you could even use the Stamina Morph now, Noxious Breath for Major Breach, Burning Embers, it's not a Burst Heal anymore, it's a heal over time now, kinda nerfed it to be honest. Then instead of Flame Lash, I use the other morph, Molten Whip, for extra damage and spell damage. With 3 stacks we gain 225 spell damage. To gain those uh, Seething Fury stacks, we have to use 3 Ardent Flame abilities. Let me show you really fast. 3 times in Goofing Flames, here we go. Now we have those 3 stacks. Instead of Fossilize, I use Shattering Rocks for the extra healing. And Elemental Drain still. Furious Sleep as ultimate, back bar same like previous patch, regeneration, elusive mist, hardened armor, calculating blood, cauterize and sparrow as defensive ultimate. Ray is still done more, for extra weapon spare damage and max magica stamina. Breton would be probably better with the cost reduction. Mundus the Atonarch for extra magica region. Clockwork Citrus Relay and Spa Food Vamp Stage 3 still for Mist Form of course and those two passives called Strike from the Shadows 300 spell damage if we leave Mist Form and Undeath reduce the damage taken by up to 30% based on your missing health if you really have sustain issues mm, just cure your Vamp and go instead of Elusive Mist with where is it? A race against time. Not chant excavation, the other morph. Attribute points, 34 in Magicka, 30 in HP. Potions, the normal Tricer potions. CPs, Daddy Aim, Master at Arms. Do this rebuff, Ironclad. Sustained by Suffering, Pain Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Nothing special here. Now we'll leave you with some Battlegrounds gameplay footage. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!
To all of them 